still going bad on you. Give it up for my girl, Fallon Taylor. Here we go. The 2014 champion of the world on Baby Flo. Congratulations. Congratulations. World champion. What's up, Flowies? Welcome to St. Paul, Oregon. If you want to see one of the wildest rodeos in all of the United States of America, stay tuned. This is a crazy arena. It's the size of a football field, and there are little Christmas trees inside of the arena, like right next to the barrel pattern. I'm not joking. I can't make this up. I can't wait for you to see Baby Flo and I run here. Baby Flo and I have never, ever competed here. We typically take a different route in the middle of July, and... My parents love Oregon, so I wanted to bring them up, take a family road trip, and check out St. Paul Rodeo. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm super pumped. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ding that notification bell, and check out my Fear the Little Bumper Pull merch and my tie-dye jeans. I got the bumper pull right here. Make sure that you guys get your own merch in the link below ranchdressing.com. You can also use code Fallon to get a discount to check out. All right, it's, uh, it's rodeo time. quickly about this rodeo it's a super cool story so here is the tea a long time ago when I was seasoning baby Flo's mother Flojo otherwise known as flowers and money I was staying at Camp Coleman which I'm staying at right now and I was seasoning her she was just four years old just getting used to the rodeo road while I was running baby Flo's dad dr. Nick Barr. now I had already run in this rodeo it was all over and done I'd done pretty well but a bunch of people had turned out in the performance and the stock contractor needed extra people to fill in the performance so that it was complete. So he called the Camp Coleman and said, hey, are there any barrel racers that wanna work their horses because we have some space in the performance and we don't want like just two barrel racers to run. So it ended up being five professionals running against five people that were exhibitioning just to make the performance look full and give the crowd a show. So I decided to run Flowers and Money to give her experience and I ran her in there and I happened to be the very fastest time of the entire performance and that's when we knew we needed to dedicate all of our time to Flojo. And later on, then we knew that that was kind of the same thing with Baby Flo. So this is a super historic rodeo for me, my family. This rodeo means a lot to us because this was a place where a horse that really probably shouldn't have ever made it kind of gave us a confidence boost and we went on to qualify to the national finals rodeo four times together and win almost half a million dollars. So I wanna tell you guys, start before you're ready, jump before you know you're ready to take that leap and go after something you're super passionate about even if you don't have the resume or credentials to do it, just so you can start getting those credentials. You can go ahead and fail because that's part of the journey anyway. Failure is inevitable, but taking that chance is gonna be the best move you've ever made in your life. All right, let's go.
thousand people. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Fallon Taylor and Baby Flo. Yeah! She qualified for her first national finals when she was 13. Collinsville, Texas, and Baby Flo. Little horse with a huge heart. Find her all over social media. Val and Taylor, that's a pretty good role okay. model we got for our little gals. Wait, 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 wait. You ready? She need help? Hey. You want help? Do you need it? Let's go. I'm the best Natalie help you can get. Okay. You got it. You got it. You got it. Get the money. awesome st paul is a legendary rodeo you know we're running between trees and through a tunnel and there's thousands of people and you know it's the fifth of july so they're just keeping that fourth of july bender going they're crazy they're rowdy um so tonight's run was really energetic it was super fun um baby flo's never had the chance to run here we always take a different route on the fourth and so this time was really really cool we're coming here for the nostalgia of st paul i feel like we got bogged down in the ground behind the barrels of course i would have loved um, leaving here with my name on the leaderboard, but being able to run here for me this year was enough. So super proud of my run. So tell us about the uniqueness of the tunnel going into the place. So in December, we run at the National Finals Rodeo, right? And if you're lucky enough to qualify, they jam pack 15 of you into a tunnel and that's pretty intense. St. Paul trumps that times five because you're in this tunnel, but over top of you are the people stomping their feet and clapping and spilling beer down and it's quite entertaining. So you've got this um, different kind of energy in there. Plus it's a hundred years old. So it's this really kind of rickety wooden roller coaster feel that I wouldn't trade for the world. It's just the neatest vibe inside of that tunnel and super dangerous, super tricky, which if you're doing this sport already, you're in it for the adrenaline. And so it just adds to the appeal of the sport, I feel like. So tell me about this rodeo vacation. Yeah, I'm just on a rodeo vacation. Um, my mom and dad asked me last year if I would go to um, some rodeos in Oregon. They wanted to go specifically to St. Paul and to Malala. So those are the only two I entered. We're going to a little barrel race and we're just traveling the countryside. It's a really cool way to rodeo. So tell me when you think you were actually uh, officially rodeo addicted. Probably, when you're rodeo addicted is probably after the first time that you go and then you go, I think I could do better at this. And then you go to the next one and the next one and the next one. Um, it's gambling with horses and Western saddles. So I think you get hooked pretty early on. So when you sit home for a little while, are you like 
itching to get back on the road? Yeah, for me, I, when I sit home for a long period of time, I typically don't get very itchy because I'm training the next set of rodeo horses. So I don't get that big of a break and I'm kind of in rodeo headquarters in North Texas. So there's something to go to every single weekend. But if I were in Oregon and, and had the like cabin fever, I'd be heading south really quickly. So where's the next part of this rodeo vacation? The next part of my ro rodeo vacation is at home. We are going back pick up the colts and go back to training the next set of horses and hopefully come back here next year. Okay. okay, you guys, another amazing day in Oregon. Thank you so much for all the support from home. Thank you so much for cheering on Baby Flo and I. We appreciate it so much. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to be subscribed. Ding that notification bell. If you haven't gotten your merch already, make sure to go to ranchdressing.com. Use code Fallon at checkout. And like I always say, with a little help from my friends here in St. Paul, don't forget <laughs> to, to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. Right? Yeah!